um, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be building a stator here using this mu metal. I don't believe it's pure, but I got it out of a VCR machine. So I've already drilled lines on it. And when you get two plates of this, I'm going to double this up. When I do two plates of this mu metal with a quarter of an inch space and the flux or magnetic field that will penetrate this should be almost absolute zero. Really, really close. More than enough to suffice for what we're doing here. Uh, for those of somebody who's just joining and you have not a clue what's going on, we're building basically um, a stator that acts like a shotgun or a gun or rifle. And it's got a barrel on it. And the barrel directs the bullet. And in this case, we're going to be putting a, a um, magnet inside of a metal box that acts like a barrel. And one side of the end will be wide open where the magnetic energy or flux or magnetic field will come out of the end of it. And that's how we aim the magnetic field, just like aiming a gun except there's no projectile in this case, unlike a gun, which has a projectile. So the only thing that's going to come out of this so-called gun, or stator, if you will, it's going to be the magnetic field that's going to jet out from the side. Uh, I already have one built here, but it's not done with mu metal. I'll show you what that looks like. It's right here. Let's see here. Okay. And as you can see, I built a metal box all the way around. It's six five sides the sixth side is open and you'll see there's a magnet back in there another neodymium magnet back up in there and it's tucked in there about about almost a full inch from the front and what it does is that it focuses that magnetic field out this way so we have a very narrow if I can get that in the front of the lens correctly we have a very narrow field of flux rather than being like that. If I didn't have this metal box around it, shielding the magnet, the flux would be going straight out and around like that. So when I do it this way, the metal flux is restricted where we're focusing it. Just like focusing a flashlight or a beam on a headlight, we're focusing the magnetic flux or the magnetic field so it's got a focus, just like a headlight on a car. So that's all I'm doing here with this box. We're focusing it. And I'm not going to get into a lot of explanation why. You can learn more about this in my other videos. But we're going to use the focus of this so it will focus on another magnet on a wheel. And as this magnet, on, this is another magnet, and as this magnet comes towards this, it will accelerate. But as this magnet goes over top, as accelerates and goes over top, it'll keep on going. And then on the back side, there's very little magnetism on the back side. So the the attraction on the front is far greater than the attraction on the back. Um, Newton's third law, or is it Murphy? I got confused. Anyway, there's the third law of attraction says that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. But because the way I built this, the attraction on the front is far greater than the attraction on the back side. So it's not equal. It's unequal. So that third law of attraction that says for every action is an equal and opposite reaction is untrue. So the energy that we gain here that's coming down this way more energy is gained here than the counteraction here. So, yes, there's some counter pull that goes back, but it's nowhere near as much counter pull as there is attraction, which means we have a net gain. I don't know what the percentage of net gain is. It could be 20, 30, 40. I know it's a lot because the counter pull on this, which is called in this industry is called a sticky spot and there's no sticky spot 
none, zero. Uh, my design has completely eliminated the infamous sticky spot that everybody who plays with magnets trying to make some kind of magnetic motor uh, run uh, all have sticky spots. Mine has zero, absolutely no sticky spot. OK, 